Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Justin Brock, and this is Epic Awesome Amazing Episode of the Unboxing Authority. I'm also on the Libre, BitChute, and YouTube channel, so check that out. And please check out my Libre, because apparently, allegedly, they pay better than YouTube does if you guys watch there and give me tips and whatever. So I don't know if that's true, but I'm supposed to get like a referral credit or something like that. So go ahead and check it out. Now, I apologize for all the boxes, but some of these boxes are so heavy, I don't want to move them again. So I'm just going to leave them there while I'm making the video about this product. Now, I'm going to tell you, I, I'm an honest guy. This product has went above my expectations, okay? It is bigger than what I expected, but that's not a bad thing. Here we go. This is the solar panel here. It's a one amp solar panel. And I think we actually achieved above one amp with this. And I'll talk to you about that and we'll show you the video of actually going out and doing it. The first thing I need to show you about this is all of the accessories. So this is where the charging ports are. There's two USB charging ports in here. There's a manual and there is a micro USB cable to hook up to something, power bank, whatever. And then we have four hooks to hook this up and hang it wherever you want to hang it. So everything you need comes here and I'll show you how that works. Now what we're going to do is we're going to open this up. So it's a little bit dirty because I went out and used it already. So uh, we're going to open it like this and see, I haven't always had the opportunity to make my videos like I used to. So that's, that's why I decided to go out and uh, test this when I could, because I couldn't make the video and see how it performed. Now in here, I don't think that it's going to get any light. No, it's not going to generate any power in here. The light's not on. So I don't, I don't think that works indoors. Um, without putting in a window, but basically there are rings on the side here or hooks whatever you want to call them and you can just put These um, hooks around these loops. You should call them a loop and Then you can put these hooks on whatever so you can hang the solar panel this way you can hang it this way um, Or you know this way or however you want to and you can tilt it towards the Sun put something behind it or just hold it up by these things you know, put two of them in on the corners That'll work fine. So one of the great things about this product is with this pouch on the back for the charging, you can take a cell phone or a power bank or something like that, and you can just put it right in here, and then you can plug in your, your power bank or your phone or whatever and just zip this up with the power bank and everything inside, which power bank is probably a good way to do it because if you're carrying this, like some people put these on their backpacks so they can charge while they're walking, and so if that's the case, you probably want your power bank in here. You can put your phone in here, you know, especially if it's off or whatever, because you don't want to grab it out of here probably while you're walking. I guess your mate could do that for you or whatever, unless you clamp it to your front. And this will charge while you're walking if you're going to do it that way. All right, let's set the solar panel up outside and see how it works. It's a very sunny day, so we should be just fine here. This box actually might come in handy. Solar panels, if they get hot in the sun, the other solar panels usually don't perform so well, so... The first time we plug this in, it might work better than it does later. So try to be quick with this and get the best results as soon as we can out of it. Go ahead and plug this connector, this B connector in here. All right, we'll zip that up so the accessories don't fall out. Plug the other end into my phone that we'll be monitoring here with the Ampere app. So right now it says we have negative 440 milliamps we've drawn off the internal battery inside. So we're gonna go ahead and plug in our charger. It's not gonna do anything at first, I'm sure. Let's see how well you guys can see this. Let's see, will it turn this way? No, it won't. All right, so we're gonna put it like this. We got it dirty from the truck here. This is supposed to be waterproof, it says. So that's good news. All right, let's go ahead and just set it there. It's charging now. And I'm just laying it flat right now. Okay, we're at 140 uh, milliamps. Now, before when I did this in direct sunlight, I actually got 900 milliamps. It looked pretty good. And that was, I think, because I had a lot of things turned on. I'm not sure. So let's go ahead and just turn on the mobile data and see if this thing will crank up at all. And also, well, it's already on uh, soft power saving mode. We got 310 milliamps maximum. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and tilt this up towards the sun. That's what I could use that box for if I wanted to probably. And we're going to see, there we go, 100. Uh-oh, wind's blowing. See if we can get any better results here. But I did actually get 900 milliamps out of this. One of the problems is my phone 
doesn't always draw the same amount of power all the time. So it depends on what I'm doing. I got the screen, you know, brightness turned up. I got a lot of things going on. So it's kind of hard and we're 89% charged on here. I'm going to try to try to get that aimed at the sun. Oh, here they are. Okay. So here's 750. You see up here the maximum is 910 milliamps. That's what I was getting the charger outdoors and direct sunlight was 910 milliamps. So that's pretty good. This is what it plugged into the wall. I got 1390, 1480, and I guess that's as high as I got plugged into the wall. I thought I saw 1600. Yeah, so there is uh, 910 milliamp hours. That's the maximum I got out of this. I'll try playing around with it a little more outside here, see if we can get any different numbers with this, but I think that's probably the maximum we're going to get. I'm going to turn around here, and... <sighs> Just make sure we're lined up with the sun. There we go. I'm not looking at the phone, so I don't know. Oh, there we go. 980. Wow, 970. We're doing it finally. All right. So I have this lined up with the sun. We're getting our 960. So I'm not sure what changed. I'm not sure what my phone decided to do. But now we're finally getting the power here. And as I line it up with the sun, it seems like it might be decreasing. I don't know if it's getting hotter, and that's what's going on, but it's certainly charging. Okay, I'm just going to lay it flat again. Okay, there's laid flat. We got 900. Oh, wow, we actually got up to 1 amp, uh, 1,010 milliamps. We actually got to take a picture of that. That's, that's pretty awesome right there. Let me make sure you guys are seeing all this, because this is pretty cool. But yeah, see down here we got it up to uh, 10, 10 milliamps. That's that's over. That's an amp there, I believe. And uh, 860 is where we're at right now, charging with this. And that's at full power because we do have the um, the battery saver turned off because it does that automatically whenever I plug it in. And I've got the data on. I could turn the Wi-Fi on too to draw more power. I don't know what that's going to do. But yeah, this is the Ampere app, and it's. It's definitely measuring um, heavy power from the, the solar and when it goes negative that's when it's drying off the battery right now it's drying everything off the solar panel so that's pretty awesome um, it took us a while to get the phone to actually do it because it I don't know it gets in moods it decides it's going to draw power and then it's not now we're 90 percent charged we were 80 something percent when we started now we're 90 percent charged so it's charging pretty fast actually I'm going to go ahead and turn my data and everything off and we'll just let it charge like it wants to. Now it went down to 790 when I turned my data off. So you can see it's using like 10 or 20 milliamps there just for the mobile data. But yeah, it works. There's no arguing with that. And if you want to see really quick what the solar panel looks like in the sun laying flat like that, I can show you. And there's our solar panel on the hood of the truck just laid out like that and it's working pretty cool and uh, so I'll pick it up again and oh we're back up to 820 milliamps all of a sudden for some reason pick it up again like this oh it's re-measuring I guess the lost connection when I picked it up or something that time but that's what it was like when I hold it up and of course it's got all the connectors and fittings on it where I could hang it anywhere off of anything I think this is great for emergency power it's great for anything like I can stop using the wallet let's charge my phone if I use this to charge a power bank and then charge my phone, that would be good. Or for emergencies or whatever. So that's pretty awesome. All right, well, thanks so much for watching the video. May God bless you, your family, your business, your income, your children, your children's children for all generations. Check out christiancourts.com and all my affiliate links in the description. Thanks so much. God bless you. And check out the link to this product, obviously, down below. Do you want to learn to follow the commands of the Almighty One True God? If you do, go to ChristianCourts.com. There's a free PDF book you can download, audio book, and video where you can listen and learn God's laws. Make America great again. Help establish Christian law in communities all across the world. God bless you. Are you tired of trying to play optical DVDs on your cell phone, MP4 players, car stereos that don't have optical disk drives? Well, I've got the software for you. WinX Software. With WinX DVD Ripper Platinum, you can convert any DVD into any type of file for pretty much any device that you have and play it without having an optical drive on that device. All you need is a computer with a DVD drive or you can buy an external DVD drive 
and you'll have your files playing on your MP4 devices in no time. So what are you waiting for? Go down to the video description and get WinX DVD Ripper Platinum today. It's time for an insurrection. Now you're playing with power. Super power. Don't throw your computer into the recycle bin. Make your computer great again. Go to www.justuselinux.com. Let's rock and ride! Rock on! Wake up! The revolution has begun!